federal system. It will certainly vary uh, depending on how Minnesota, and most particularly Judge Cahill, decides to look at the report and, and, and decide how to staff them or have them run concurrently. So you've been showing everybody home. Keep these line pictures up because I just want to give you all a sense of what you're looking at here. This is what they've called George Floyd Plaza unofficially. This is outside the store where George Floyd was arrested. Every few moments, as the camera tilts up, you might be able to see a sign. There it is. It said justice for George Floyd, and within the last five minutes, they put up justice served on that sign as well. So this is this was the epicenter of where everything erupted uh, last May. And then you saw some aerial shots. That was of Minneapolis. Uh, and we also had some views outside of the courthouse. There it is right there. So you're getting a sense of what's going on on the streets in Minneapolis as we, uh, it's really this sets in for a lot of people. Uh, Katie, as, as, we, as we look ahead and as we move past this, uh, again, we, we talked about the flashpoint that was what we saw in Los Angeles in, in the early 90s. Now we see a, a different scenario here playing out in, in Minnesota. Uh, and we have another case not too far away from there where you have uh, a young man, uh, Dante Wright, who was shot while this was going on. This is still a very heightened time in our society, and especially in this in this 10 or 20 mile radius in Minneapolis. Absolutely, it's a heightened time, and the American people from watching this case over the last couple of weeks really got a glimpse of, more than a glimpse, they got to see every single day how the American justice system works. The nine minutes and 29 seconds that Derek Chauvin's knee was on George Floyd's neck has been repeated and people have seen it over and over and over again. And hopefully they also got to see that that nine minutes and 29 seconds was laid there for the jury, all of the details of that case, and, and justice was eventually served because both the prosecution and the defense did their job in this case. Derek Chauvin obviously had uh, a, a strong defense. He was able to present evidence and, and, and to give his side of the case. And really, the ultimate decision here are 12 jurors who are not lawyers, who didn't know this case before they came into it, reached a unanimous decision. And that is how the American system is created. And, and the American people got to see that today as a, a smaller, more narrow version of the larger conversation we're having that we talked about earlier um, in our culture and in our community and in our country about how the police interact with its citizens. And Katie, we're looking at pictures outside the U.S. Capitol. Uh, Speaker Pelosi off of the shot. We listen in to our elected officials talk about today's verdict. Let's listen for a second.